Today's Leather Tip Tuesday video comes from a question asked by Adam. Adam asks, can I use normal leather dye as opposed to edge coat if I'm using gum trag on top? So what he's talking about is edges here, right? How we're gonna finish those edges. So we're gonna do this video, three steps to professionally finished leather edges. Now, first thing we're gonna do is round these edges off. Okay, so I'm gonna do that with an edger here. Start by taking that off. Now this is just kind of an off-brand small edger, nothing fancy, but you can see what that does is it actually takes that corner off and begins to round that. Okay, I'm gonna show you on the back side here as well. All right, now we've started to round that off. We wanna make sure we're really smooth and round. So I'm gonna take a little bit of sandpaper here. This is a really light 600 grit but this is gonna allow me to really smooth that edge up. Now you can go as wild as you want with your sandpaper, go down as many grits as you want, but we're wanting to start getting that nice smooth edge on there. Again, paying attention to that rounded shape, get that nice feel to it. Okay, once we've done that, we're getting that rounded. Now I would normally be doing this all the way around my whole project, but for the sake of the video here, I just want to show you all the steps to what we're doing. But now comes into Adam's question for the color. Now, rather than using an edge coat, which is a product, great product if you're looking for kind of a one-step finish, but it leaves a little bit more of a plasticky look to it, in my opinion. I like um, I like a little bit more of that slicked off finish, so we are gonna use regular dye. So this is Phoebe's Black Pro Dye. Uh, any chance I get to use the Pro Dye versus the leather dye, I do. I just like the coverage it gets, um, you know, formulated a little bit different, but really good dye. But some of the colors only come or one or the other, but this black comes in a Pro Dye. Now I've put that same black dye into this edge marker here. Now this, you can kind of see the lettering on there, the logo, this is from Maker's Leather Supply. I love these little pins. They're fairly inexpensive, but they work great. They don't leak, they do the job. I'm gonna show you how I use these here, but there's a little foam thing on the top here. Now to fill that, this is reverse thread. So if you get one of these, know that that is reverse thread because it's a little confusing at first if you don't know that. But that little top pops out of there, pour your dye in, and then thread that back on there. So they're refillable. Uh, you can put any of the dye you want in there. Now this is kind of spring loaded in here. So we just, push that and it gets some dye going in there. Usually I keep a scrap around and I'll push it down on that scrap. But that dye, it's just gonna go right there on that edge. The reason I like pushing down on the scrap so I don't push in like that and get that extra dye where I don't want that at. But for the purposes of this, it'll work just fine. So I cover that with the dye. Now, we talked about putting the gum trag over top. Now what is gum trag? That is gum tragacanth. But again, if you don't want to try sounding that whole thing out, shorten it up to gum trag and people know what you're talking about. So I'm just using a little dauber here. We'll get a little bit of that on there. Now right over that edge that we just put our dye on, we're gonna come right down there. The nice, light, even coat of that gum drag making sure we're not slopping that down onto our leather front or back. And then with a scrap piece of canvas, this is just a nice heavyweight canvas. You can get it fabric store or craft store, that sort of thing. We're gonna start slicking that up. Just putting a little bit of pressure, kind of pinching the, that in with my fingers there, putting some down pressure on that as well. But that's gonna work that gum trag into the fibers of that leather and really begin to slick that up. Kind of that heat from the friction there works with that. And if we did a good job sanding that, it's not gonna take near as much work when we go to slick that. But you can see that nice shiny edge that we're getting there. That's a good 
nice professional edge that's going to last and hold up for the use of whatever your products are that you're building there. So three easy steps around that edge, you know, getting that with your edger and your sander, getting that rounded, then putting our die on there, finally coming back to slick that with our gum trag. So Adam, hope that answers your question. That's a long answer to, uh, to the question, but yes, you can use just leather dye. That's actually the method I prefer. And this is how I finish the majority of the leather projects that I'm doing when we're talking about finishing that veg tan leather for a nice slick professional edge. So if you guys are interested, um, I've put a few links in the description for you. The link for this, these markers you can find with Maker's Leather Supply, that's down there in the description, as well as all the Phoebean products that we carry here in the shop. You can get that on the website there. And if you're interested in just more of these, really these basic leather shop principles here that are gonna be the foundation for all of your leather projects, we've bundled that together in one course called Leather Shop Basics. And again, it's some of the basic fundamentals that's gonna get you moving in the right direction on your uh, leather craft journey. But I've put a link to that course there as well. Again, it's all the things that you need to know in one spot, save you time scouring through all the different scattered videos everywhere. But once you get that, you go back, rewatch it as many times as you want, and you watch it at your own pace. So it is all pre-recorded uh, and you have lifetime access to that. But there's a link to that in there as well. Otherwise, we we'll look forward to seeing you guys on the next video.